Summit. And we're here to celebrate. Celebrate. And remember how he won the game. That's what you do. You get back. This is just the locker room. You get back and you celebrate how he coached us. He coached us through when we was down. We was behind 100 points. He coached us through. Come on, somebody. We on the winning team. We didn't lose. We on the win. And we keep on having victory. We're the undefeated team. Praise God. We're the undefeated team. Is that right? This is the champion Passover Summit. And we've come in the name of the Lord to celebrate the victory with our Lord and Savior. Heaven is celebrating now. This is a holy convocation in heaven. This is a feast day. This is a time when heaven is up there, my God, getting it all set because the king of glory is going to come in. Praise him. Hallelujah. Glory. Shout victory, somebody. Victory in Jesus' name. Now we're going to take you into the hands of Apostle Armstrong. He'll take us early. Give him a hand as he comes. Amen, amen. We're doing great. Hallelujah. I, I, I really like that, for the, the way the pastor presented that. Oh, we, we are, we're a team, right? We are a team. And, and we, oh, my, 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 and our champion has already overcome. Amen. And we are celebrating. We are celebrating that victory. You know, when, when a team wins a Super Bowl, when a team wins, wins the NBA championship, you know, that, that, that night after the game, the whole city celebrates. Amen. So sometimes they, they destroy stuff because they're celebrating. We're going to destroy some, some demons while we celebrate. Amen. We're going we gonna to trample on some serpents while we're celebrating. All right. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Well, I thank God for, for this day, for being here with you. And, and before we get started, I, I, I would like sister, sister to come and bring us a song. Will you bring us a song? Amen. Amen. You got a mic? Oh, she's all prepared. She's got a mic there. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 After Hallelujah. This, we will continue. Bless your Lord. Bless your Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father, which are it in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. Lead us not and 
into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Ah, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let the church say amen. amen. Oh, let the church say amen like you mean it. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Ah, You know, when the apostle was up here and he was saying about the, the reading the scripture that the Lord was and is and is to come, it made me think about, you know, many people know that Christ was because they read it in the Bible. And they also read Switch out. Hallelujah. Is that better? And also they read in the end times that, that, that he will be again. See, he was and he will be. But you know, the power is in knowing that he is. You see, people know that he was and then they read that he will come again. But the power is knowing that he is right now. This is in a present time of trouble. When you need him, not calling on, on what he was or what he will be, but what he is right now. Amen. That, 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 that just made my soul leap. Amen. He is right now. Amen. Well, we're off to a good start, team. We're off to a good start. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. We're off to a good start. Now, right now, you can have your seats just for a moment. Right now, before we, we have a cedar prepared in the kitchen, the fellowship hall. We're going to, we're going to uh, convene in there in a moment. Uh, but something came to my attention, and I, I was given a few minutes to share something before we go. So, the Holy Ghost told me to share this. I see several people in the room. With prayer shawls on. Amen. In the Hebrew, these are called talits. Talits. And uh, on the, you notice on the talit, on each corner, there are fringes. These fringes are called tichis. Okay. Now, I asked, I asked someone about this, and they did, they had one on, and they didn't know what it meant. So God said, tell them. On the tichi, you see five knots. I know the one who told me they didn't, they didn't know what it meant. I, I know they're looking at it right now. There's five knots on the tichi. Those five knots represent the five books of Moses, which is the law. Amen? So every time a Hebrew would see a prayer shawl, they're reminded of the law of God. Amen? And God, well, but see, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. Uh, back in the book of Deuteronomy, God told them to make this prayer shawl. In the book of Deuteronomy, after they came out of Egypt, he said, make the shawl and put fringes in the corner. He said, and this shawl.
Oh, I'm sorry. Under his wings, there is protection. So I'm, I'm used to using a lapel. Like, I get animated, you know what I'm saying? So under his wings is protection. But let me move on. Between the knots, you'll see different woundings of different sizes. There's eight, I mean, I'm sorry, there's 13, 11, 8, and 7 woundings between the knots. 13, 11, 8, and 7. Now, we all grown. We can add that up, can't we? 13 and 11, 24. 7 and 8, so 24 and 15 is 39. Oh, ain't nobody shouting yet? Okay, okay, let, let, let me go a little further. How many stripes did Jesus take? 39 stripes. And why did he take the stripes? For your healing. By his stripes, you are healed. God told them in Deuteronomy, make the prayer, y'all, because it's for the healing of Israel. And Christ took 39 stripes for your healing. God prophesied it. He prophesied it. To your victory, you've been set up for victory from the foundation of the earth. You can't lose with what we use. <laughs> Amen. We can't, but you have to use it. You have to use it. And so I just wanted to share that. So as we, we, we're, we're here learning more about the, the, the Hebrew culture, so I just thought I would share that. These woundings represent your healing. Amen. And there are other teachings concerning the teaching and the prayer shawl. But that's for another time. Amen? Amen. I hope you got something. I hope you that was I hope that was nutritious to you. Huh? Was that nutritious? <laughs> huh? Good for your soul? Amen. Mm -mm, good. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that's him, huh? Mm -mm, good. So we're gonna without delay, we're gonna we're gonna come reconvene in the in the fellowship hall where we have the cedar meal prepared, and we will learn a little bit more about what the Passover is about. Amen? And then we'll come back and we'll get into the water with our scuba gear on. We're not going to splash around in the kiddie pool. All right? So I, I, I hope you got your pens and papers ready to write, ready to learn. You come with your spirit open, ready to receive of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Father God, we just thank you for this, for this time of, of fellowship right now in this worship, Lord God. And God, as we, as we proceed, Lord God, to your table, oh God, I pray that you bless us with your presence today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now team, everybody stand, orderly fashion, let's go to the, to the fellowship hall. Yes, ma'am.